Hello and welcome to to this class. So this class we're trying to um, prove some identities or perhaps trying to solve a particular problem under trigonometry, as you can see in front of you. Last class we spoke about the concept of applying the ideas or perhaps the formulas under trigonometric identity to solve from problems. If you're interested in watching our last class, I'll drop a link above us here. So I'll drop a link above us here. So you try to click on that link. You take to our, our, our very first example. This is example two. So our very first example that we discussed last class, if you are interested in watching that, I'll drop the link above us here, right? So click on the link to our last class on first example. So let's discuss this second example here and let's see what we get. The one says, for question A there, I have cos theta the question says that find cos theta if sin theta is equal to 3 over 5. So what do you do for A? So let's solve A together. For question A, I have that find cos theta. So for question A, cos theta is unknown. I want to get cos theta. So we are given what the sin theta. So the idea of solving this man is that it's in two conditions. We said last class that you can use either the concept of Pythagoras theorem or perhaps you use the concept of trigonometric identity so per se for this one now I can use any any um any condition of mine right I can go with the Pascal's triangle method or perhaps the trigonometric identity concept so if you're interested in watching those um how to apply those two concepts try to watch our previous example right I explained the two concepts but for this class I'll just use um any method suitable for me right so from here now I'm given sin theta so I'm looking for cos theta, but I'm given that sin theta is equal to 3 over 5. So given sin theta, how do I get cos theta? That's the question now. The idea is that at this point now, I'll recall a relationship between sine and cos. So at this point here, using trigonometry. identities recall that we said cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one right so we have this that cos theta plus sine square is equal to one at this point now let's put in values i'm looking for what cos theta so but i know sine theta right so from here now i'll get that i'll have cos square theta plus so I have cos square theta plus sine square theta, but we just said sine theta alone is three over five. So I have sine theta as being three over five all into this is a square here. Yeah? I'll repeat the square here. Yeah? It's now equal to one. I have this one here. Yeah? What's next at this point? My next start from here is that I have cos square theta. I'll drop it down. I'll have cos square theta plus i'll apply the idea of indices here so three squared we give nine all over five squared we give 25 being equal to one at this point i'm looking for cos theta what do i do there i'll take this man to the other side there so i'll have that cos square theta is equal to one minus nine over 25 so i have this one here so at this point here what comes to mind lcm so SM comes to mind here. I'll have that cos square theta is equal to invisible one here. My LCM here is what? 25. 25 in one is 25 times one. Uh, that will give, I'll give about 25 minus. 25 in 25 is one. One times nine will give nine. At this point here, what next? My next tax obviously from here is that if I subtract this one, I'll have that cos square theta is equal to i'll have 16 all over 25 if i subtract 25 from 9 i'll have 16 all over what 25 this square that is here i'll take this square here become the square root so i have cos theta left being equal to the square root of 16 over 25 at this point what do i get I'll have that cos theta is equal to root 16 is 4 all over root 25 is what? That's 5. So, so my answer here becomes um, 
4 over 5 as you can see so i've actually so i've actually got the answer to cos theta here as being equal to 4 over 5 so it means that if sin theta is 3 over 4 3 over 5 therefore cos theta is equal to 4 over 5 as you can see in front of you let's do question b for question b there i'm given cos theta has been equal to sorry i'm looking for cos theta is unknown so the idea now is that so i'm looking for cos theta all right as you can see so i'm given sin theta so i'm looking for cos theta given what the sine theta has been equal to um 12 over 3. All right, from here now, what do I do here? So the idea is that I'm given what the I'm given cot theta. Sorry, I'm looking for cot theta. I'm given sin theta. What do you do in that case? The idea is um quite simple, right? So my idea is that I if I recall uh, my expression for cot theta, I know that sorry, I know that recall recall that we said that one plus cot squared theta is equal to what cosec squared theta so the idea is that if i'm looking for cot a cot squared theta or perhaps cot theta i need to know what cosec squared theta that's the idea but i'm given sin theta now, now the question is that how do i relate cosec squared theta with sin theta that is very simple what we know before now is that what we know but what we know before now is that co sex is what about one over sine theta now the idea is that i'll look for the expression or a real value for cosec theta which is this one here so from here now i'll have that cosec theta is equal to one over one sine theta that's what 12 over 3 i'll have 12 over 3 over 3 has been the expression for sine theta has been given in the question um above you here all right how do i get cos theta from here I apply the concept of reciprocal from fraction so what i get i'll have that cosec theta is equal to this is one one divided by this value here 12 over three from here what's your next tax my next tax from here is that i will apply a multiplication concept so i'll have that cosec theta is equal to this is one multiplied by i will invert so that becomes three over 12 i have this one here from here now my expression for co for cos theta sorry cosec theta so therefore cosec theta is equal to what one times three is what three over 12 so this becomes the expression for cosec theta now it means that i cannot put the value of cosec theta into this expression here hence i can now find my cot theta let's get this done please all right at this point now we have gotten the value for co um, cos cosec theta has been equal to 3 over, five, uh, 3 over 12. so the idea is that we're looking for what um what's it called cot theta so is the idea is that i'll recall this formula back so i have that one from there i have one plus cot squared theta is equal to what cosec squared theta but we know this one now has been equal to what 3 over 12 so i have that one plus cot squared theta is equal to this man here is becomes what 3 over 12 i have 3 over 12 all squared from here what do you get I'll have that 1 plus cot square theta is equal to 3 squares gives 9, 12 square gives 1, 4, 4. So I'm looking for cot theta. So I'll take this one here. Yeah, I'll have that cot square theta is equal to 9 over 1, 4, 4 minus 1. <laughs> so minus 1 at this point. So at this point now, I can. Um, I can have an imaginary one here, yeah, invisible one, so over one. Right? What comes to mind here? LCM. So I have that cot square theta is equal to what's my LCM here? Yeah? That's one four four. 
one four four in one four four is one one times nine will give nine minus one four four in one is one four four times one will give one four four all right at this point please what do i get i'll have that cot square theta is equal to if i subtract nine from this one yeah what do i get this it's about one um one three one three five away one three five all over what there one four four so if um at this point now what do we get i will take this square i'll take this square to this side become a square root so i'll have that All right. Um, at this point now, what do we get? I'll take this one. This cos square theta. So it means I'll have cos theta has been equal to take the square root. Take the square here yeah, because it's square root. So that becomes a square root of what there? One three five. All over what there? One four four. Is there an expression for this? So I have that cos theta is been equal to. Is is, it, is this a decimal value? Decimal value, are we? This one, this, one is a, this one has a, a specific value, Abby. So I'll be having what? Root 135, Abby. Over what? Over 12, right? So this becomes the expression for this one here. Let me check. It's working. It's coming. You can see. 3 here. Oh. No. No, I'll, I'll, I'll let them know. All right. Um, there's a mistake. Um, at this at this point, please. The mistake is that the sine theta was the, is was talking about thirteen, not three. Please. So is it was it was thirteen. So thirteen is here, please. So I put thirteen here, right? Yeah. So I have thirteen here. So I have thirteen here and thirteen here. So that becomes thirteen over twelve. So put in your value back. Thirteen here. So thirteen squared, please. How do, how do I get there? Thirteen squared. How do I get? That's one six nine. 169 169 right so i have this one here so the idea is that what we'll do next at this point so i'll subtract one from i'll take this off i'll put 169 here right so the other change is this one is the lcm right so 144 and 144 you give one one time this is with 169 minus 144 and 144 is 144 times one 144 What's next? Subtract this one, please. What do you get? Huh? 25. So I have 25 here. Yeah? So what's next tax? I'll put 25 here. Yeah. Instead, I'll take all this off, put 25 here. Yeah? Right? So square of 25 will give 5 all over what there? All over 12. So this becomes my answer after solving this particular problem using the idea of trigonometric identity. Please observe that this is, this is, this is a kind of mistake during the solving. Instead of putting 13, we use 3. So observe the mistake, please. Do not make mistake, please. So these are these are you work on this particular problem. In the next class, we're trying to prove um, equations of left hand side to be equal to right hand side in our next class. So thanks for watching and welcome to Excellent Link Academy. If you are, if you have any question, you can simply put your question in the comment section below. I'll reply you as fast as I can. Oh. Uh.